Following me is my current father figure, Jacob Stout. Give it up, folks. Let's go. Yeah. How's it going, guys? It's great to be here. Get this thing off the screen. I am a huge fan of Batman. Did you guys know that Batman's greatest fear is actually bats? That's crazy. That'd be like if my superhero name was Intimacy Man. <laughs> the suit would just be like cargo shorts and a polo. The powers would be fear of commitment and erectile dysfunction. Instead of the Batmobile, it's just a giant pickup truck. Except that was already taken by another hero, Tiny Penis Man. Uh, I like Batman, but I feel like he's overcompensating. Like, he put a jet engine on the back of his car. And he always talks like this. Nobody who's secure in their manhood does that. Uh, he's got that big sign, the bat signal, to let him know when the city needs him. But really, deep down, I think he just wants to be needed by a woman. <laughs> and, and it wasn't always like this, because in the 60s, Batman was silly. He was a silly detective that ran around in tights. And now he's fighting political corruption and radical libertarianism. I am Antifa. <laughs> Back in the day, all the villains would set up these harebrained schemes. It'd be like, oh, I'm going to put beans in the water supply and give everybody terrible gas. Not on my watch. I am anti-fart. <laughs> we got the fart joke out of the way. We can move on from here. I want to be more like Batman, but I'm not super strong or tough or intimidating. Uh, but what I can do is I can kill the parents. Now think, think about this for just a second, right? If Batman saves a thousand people in his career, that means I can kill 499 sets of parents, and as long as one of those kids turns into Batman, I've done the world a favor. <laughs> I did that joke one time. A guy shouted at me from the audience. He goes, fuck you, I'm an orphan. Uh, yeah, you and 498 other guys. <laughs> I was so disappointed. I went out of my way to brutally murder that guy's parents, hoping that he would turn into a superhero. He just grew up to be a heckler. I just hope that one day he becomes a parent. Because then I can kill him. Uh, I uh, work as a delivery driver, which means that your tips pay for my daughter's baby food. That's what I would say if I had a daughter and if I decided to feed her. <laughs> the truth is, your tips get funneled straight into OnlyFans. My cousin's OnlyFans. Uh, because I'm trying to feed her. My semen. Uh, so I work as a delivery driver at Jimmy John's, right? Freaky fast. So I gotta, I practically have to speed. It's in the slogan. So I got pulled over to a 95 and a 20. And, and the cop walks up by my car and he says, you're going a little fast there, weren't you? Uh, yeah, it's my job. The faster I go, the more tips I get. And I'm trying to feed my daughter who is disabled. We're heading into a recession. Inflation's at an all time high and you're trying to tell me I can't do my job and then he shot me eight times in the chest. <laughs> so if you want to help pay for my medical bills, stop by Jimmy John's. Uh, try our new All-American Beefy Crunch. It's a fucked up medical system, guys. <laughs> I, uh, I delivered an order to this older lady a couple weeks ago. She paid me with handfuls of change. Most people I know would be pissed. Not me. I had an awesome night at the strip club. <laughs> Just flicking coins at strippers all night. I kept trying to dodge them. They were fast, but I was faster. <laughs> Some guys like to make it rain, I like to make it hail. <laughs> there were so many bruises the next morning when my cousin woke up. <laughs> That's her other job, she's very hungry. Yeah. I delivered a big catering order to the Black Engineer Society a couple weeks ago. And, uh, and I feel like me walking into that room, I felt the same way that they feel walking into their engineering classes. Like, unnecessarily so, right? Like, oh, I belong here, I promise, guys. I get it. Who invited the help? I'm not going to steal anything. All right, I feel you guys are really pulling back on this one, but I'm going to push through because I believe in myself. Uh, some of you guys didn't like that joke because you don't want to acknowledge that there's a long history of power imbalance in America between engineers and delivery drivers. <laughs> Maybe if you were more woke, you'd realize that your superhero name is Afraid That Joke Was Racist When It Really Wasn't, Man. 
I think being a preacher is way easier than people realize because with a little bit of mental gymnastics, anything can be a metaphor for God. Anything. Like, uh, I locked myself out of my home this morning, just like some of you have locked yourselves out of a relationship with the Lord. <laughs> I took my five-year-old daughter to the bank the other day to set her up an account because she needs to learn to save her money. You know what else she needs to learn to save? Herself. Her marriage. <laughs> I beat my wife. Just like the sun beat down on the Israelites when they were stranded in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. Open your Bibles to Exodus, please. You guys have been great. I'm Jacob Stout.